This here is a smoky quartz that we found. Um, it weighs 10 pounds. Pretty heavy. You can maybe hear that when I set it down on the handrail. Anyway, um, so I mean, it's not a great, you know, specimen, but it is really pretty in its own right. Um, one thing, it got nicked, which happens because we weren't really looking for crystals, so we weren't using plastic tools. Um, so that really kind of breaks my heart that that happened, but I mean, it happened. Um, anyway, it's not like it's an awesome, perfect crystal. It's got some decom uh, decomposition <clears throat> going on anyway, so wasn't the worst thing ever. But um, yeah, this was only about, oh, 10 inches down under the surface, and it had bedrock underneath it, probably another about three or four feet down. Um, so it's really weird because it wasn't at the bottom of a hill, you know, and it had to have had a pretty big pocket to have something like this form. Um, kind of a mystery. Uh, there was a lot of other crystals around it, hundreds of them that we found, but this was the biggest one. Um, and there was also a lot of hematite and hematite crystal formations. Um, and I'll show those in another video. So it was a very interesting area, but again, it was at the top of a hill with bedrock relatively close under it. So how how it got there is just such a mystery. How this and all the other places we found this particular location were there. It was really weird. But it is a treasure, you know? Maybe worth more to some people than others, but um, yeah, it is a treasure from Colorado. This was found only about 35 minutes outside of Castle Rock.